Okay, so we are now live, and we are working on the video. Um, let's see what's it called. <coughs> really bad place. Excuse me, moving my camera. I just it's just blocking me. Okay, isn't psychotherapy for people who are weak or crazy? Um, okay, so I think I'm going to do things a little bit differently today, and I'm going to start off, excuse me, looking, I, I really don't know why, oh, I know why, okay, that's better, that's better, okay, um, let's start off, oh, hi, Valerie, you made it. <laughs> Yay! I was trying to get my desktop to work, but it doesn't like my camera. Um, hmm. Um, so let's go ahead and start with questions. Now that you guys get the video ahead of time and you get um, the transcript now, um, first let's start with the questions that you have um, and then we'll go from there. Any questions? Um, what, do you, what do you guys have for me? I mean, I think everything was cleared up because you had the transcript up, but when I first um, watched it a lot of I don't know why like her signing was just more difficult for me to understand okay I've definitely had a few people tell me that about her and um, I've used this video before in the past and I've gotten some people that really struggle with this one um, Does everybody kind of agree that their her, her signing is a little bit maybe difficult to understand or her meaning is difficult to to get from what she's saying I think her meaning is, yeah, I, I don't know, we, um, we've done her videos in the past, like during the summer, so I was a little bit familiar with her, but I think her meaning is a little skewed, you know, it seems to be a little skewed, so that you don't actually know what she means by the signs that she's saying. Right. Yeah, yeah. Even like the one part where you had transcribed, um, like, about therapists themselves actually go to therapy um, if they don't maybe they don't know themselves very well and then like at the end of that sentence like I don't know it just seemed like she said something like about um, maybe they're working with other people or while they're working with other people but it didn't seem to it was like a fragment like it didn't seem to fit it doesn't I know I agree it's a really strange sentence I, and there's no other way that I can I, that's the only thing I could deduce her meaning was that she they're working with other, other people. Like yeah. it's just a weird it's just a weird thing, you know, to say and yeah. Mm -hmm. She didn't add anything else that would give that that I could have spun that any other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um one thing before we start is I wanna um apologize. Um Valerie, last week we were talking about the Cassie's video with the hammock <laughs> and um you had said that uh, when she was talking about straddling the, the hammock, the instructions that she'd gotten, um, you had said she grabbed the rope, and I corrected you by saying, no, she's grabbing, she's like holding on to the hammock. I realized later that in my transcript, I actually said grabbing the rope. And for some reason, watching it the second time during, during our session here, it just looked like she was grabbing the hammock. So whether she was grabbing, if there was a rope attached to the hammock at the beginning, and I mean at the beginning of you know where the hammock attaches to the tree, or if she's actually grabbing the hammock and sitting on it back, I don't know which one it is. But I know that in my my transcript I had had that it was um, that it was a rope. So, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that may have been where you got that from because I had it right there. <laughs> 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 okay, so if there's no questions, um, let's just run through this and see if there's any um, anything, any way that we can maybe clear up some of the things she's saying or, or why it means what it means. So let's go to the beginning and um, watch the first section up to 17 seconds. Looks like somebody else is coming in. Hi, Lori! <laughs> Just in time. We're starting from the time. beginning. We're starting from the beginning. Oh, I've got a, I've got a feedback. feedback. Zero to 17 seconds. Zero to 17 seconds. Zero to 17 seconds. Zero to 17 seconds.
Okay, so I think that first sentence is pretty clear. Um, I think maybe we could discuss how we, how, what would be the best way, or what are some options of how we voice that sentence. So she vo she she presents it as, as a question. Uh, people who are weak are they? I mean, people who go to therapy or psychotherapy are they weak, crazy? Are those the kind of people that go to therapy? <coughs> and then she answers her own question by saying no. So in my transcript, I have it. Uh, I believe I have it not as a question but as a statement. You may think counseling or psychotherapy is only for weak, crazy, emotional people, but it's not. Um, can you think of any other way or even a better way that you might want to voice that? I didn't. I just had changed the last part. It's not that. I just said that is not the case. Excellent. That is not the case. Good. Um, one thing that w comes up a lot is that in ASL, um, that, that question sentence structure is a really, really common sentence structure for, um, for ASL. And um, we have to be very careful or we, we can't feel like we're restricted to just that, that, um, that question sentence structure because on, a lot of times that question is not the best way or the most natural sounding sentence for us to make uh, when we're voicing it. So just always keep that in mind when you're when you're seeing those sent those questions. The next chunk is 18 seconds to 44 seconds. This is a tough section, I think. Okay, so this I think is a tricky part. Everybody agree? Okay, so um, the very beginning, she starts off by saying, think about the different professions, and then she signs have. She signs have. And that trips people up. That's how she starts the section at 18 seconds. Think about the different professions have. What does she mean by have? Lori. Oh. oh, you can see me. <laughs> I don't think you can see me yet. I'm trying to, um, the video, I have to have it up because, or I mean, is there any way to send it to my desktop other than having it through the email that you sent me? That's how I have it up. Yeah, you can, um, yeah, you can open your email on your desktop, you can open my tools page on your desktop and click from the tool page. I mean to copy it to my desktop and use it that way. If not, I mean, that's okay. I, I just have to have it up and I can hear her as well as y'all. You know okay, I mean? I mean we can see you fine, so we're not signing anything. If we sign something, I'll try to remember to tell you to close the window or something. You can minimize both windows to have them up at the same time. I have both of them up at the same time, yeah. No, I just meant, like, ha instead of using her through the email, or watching her through the email, to send her to my desktop, because... Um, oh, I, I understand what you mean. She's at, you actually have her... I have the, yeah, I have my AOL opened up, and then the email you sent me opened up, and then the tools opened up, and then the, the, the video of the week opened up. Okay, so you have it in. So you're in YouTube then. I. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, that is. Yeah, I see her. I just um, last time I was able to it was Mary, I guess, and I was able to copy um, or send it to my desktop and open it from there instead of in so many windows. But it's 4K. I mean, I can see her and everything. You know what I mean? Just, I well, don't. Yeah. You can probably close down or minimize all the other windows that you don't need and just yeah. have them. Yeah, they're minimized. Okay. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> just, she makes noise, like, like you can hear. Yeah, I just mute it. I just yeah. mute the video. Where do you mute it, then? On, on the actual YouTube video. Oh, I see now. Right next to play. Okay, now it's muted. Okay. Okay. So, um, she mm -hmm. signs have... 
And Lori, what does she mean by have? Different um, professions have. Different professions have, like people who... Um, Start at 18 seconds. And let me know what she's saying at that very, that very first se sentence at 18 seconds. Businesses, different businesses. So voice that. Have specific uh, people. Say that again. Uh, dif different businesses have specific people. That no. Beverly, I think you had it. What were you going to say? Um, different professions that are out there, you know, that yeah. people have. Right. That, yeah, that exists. Um, that's, a, that's a one way that that's expressed in ASL is by saying have. There are different professions out there. Professions, different, 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 have. Like, we have them. They exist. That's tricky. That's why I want, if you see that again, I want to make sure that you're, you're clear on what, what the person's actually saying. And then she goes and lists a bunch of different professions. Any questions about any of those professions or the way they were signed? Is that, I was going to ask, is that typically how you sign um, nutritionist and personal trainer? Um, I don't know. I don't know, and I don't even know if nutritionist is necessarily the best way or what she exactly means by that. Food I was thinking care. cater, like a, a food yeah. planner, like a cater. And that's what I thought about. I don't know. For some reason, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, nutritionist. But, oh, yeah. I feel like catering would, there would be delivering. Um, and also maybe because um, she talks about a personal trainer, I think of it as, as specifically, you know, helping out individuals as opposed to the business of catering. But I don't, I mean, there's no... <laughs> There's no 100% right or wrong answer. I just, for some reason, it doesn't feel like catering to me. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. And there could be some other. Is there another per, uh, specific, you know, a dietitian? Maybe it's a dietitian, or is that the same thing? I think they're kind of the same thing. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. I, I feel like if I was interpreting the concept of catering, there would be delivering involved and setup involved. Like I feel like it's a bigger thing than just preparing food, but. Anywho, any any others? Personal trainer, I see that a lot. Personal trainer, what is it? a personal trainer, I think. Personal. So I think she did like personal. Yeah, she did that. She does personal. Interesting. Yeah, I would. That's that's strange to me. Person train. I she yeah, does. She's like extra. Extra. Yeah. Yeah. To clarify, because even maybe she knew that that may not have been the the most clear way to say that. Okay. okay. How would you have signed personal trainer? I probably would have signed personal trainer and then okay. exercise. With a T? Um, tra I do sign training with a T, but you don't have to. You could do practice like this. Okay. Yeah. But exercise is necessary to really clear up what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so that sentence she says there's all these different professions out there. And then what does she say about that? She says, uh, why, do, why do we hire these different professions? To help us. To help. To help. Uh-huh. I'm just re-looking at it one more time. Yeah, me too. They're skilled in what they do, and it helps us to... Uh, do them right. ...better do our... Yep. Exactly. She says um, they're skilled, we get help from them, and she says it's more... And then she signs the sign like perfect. Okay? So it just makes it better. It's more right on, spot on. Okay? So we hire them to make it make things. <coughs> then from 44 to 50. I had to look at that a few times. <laughs> okay. What did you get out of that, Valerie? Well, yeah, um, she, she's saying that, um, wait a minute. They can help you do the various tasks at hand better, and, and you probably would, can do it yourself, but because they're skilled, she doesn't say because they're skilled, but I'm just throwing that in because she said they were skilled before. 
uh -huh. um, it may, it will be better. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, she signs, and I don't even know if I have this exactly correct in my transcript because I'm just noticing it right now. But she signs the sign for some some of them, some or well, some of you. So when she says, um, maybe you can do it yourself. Well, some of you, you know, some of you may be able to do some of these things by on your own. But hiring somebody who's a professional makes it even better. Yeah. Okay. So when you guys um, this sign, when you have to sign some of you, try to get away from the sign some, which means stuff, a stuff some, oh, and okay. as opposed to some people, which is that one, that one, and that one, that one, and that one, and that one, some people. Not all people like they, but just some, that one, that one, and that one. Okay. The next chunk is 50 to 102. 50 to 102. Okay. Beverly, what do you have for that? <laughs> I knew you were going to call me, and that's the part that confuses me. <laughs> it's not always how it works out. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, let me see. That some, um, what do I want to say? That some people that are in the therapy pro uh, profession also seek help or something? That's like that? later on. 50 to 102. Watch that one more time. All right. Oh, it's the same with psychotherapists or counselors um, that they can they can help you figure out your life if you're having problems. Right, exactly. And how is so she says that's it's similar with with therapy, but then she says there's one thing that's different uh, about those professions in psychotherapy, and what is that? Overall, the because overall life thing. That's one of them. And she also said something about this. Wait, I can't see. Um, those professions are more specific. There you go. Yes. Yes. So those, those professions are more specific in psychotherapy or, or counseling deals There's with more. your life as a whole. Okay. Any questions? Could you have... Um Use whole look look at your life as more holistic. No. Um, holistic. I don't. Maybe I'm not that familiar with that word. I don't know how many uses there are, but I think of holistic as a, like alternative medicine. And so I don't know if that word. I don't know if people might misconstrue what you mean by holistic. In other words, more holistic, a holistic view view of <clears throat> with you. In other words, they're not working with anything specific, but but looking at your life on a whole. Yeah, I just my only concern is I understand what you're saying. I just thought that holistic meant like alternative medicine. Not you know, just, like I've heard it used in 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 a different regard okay. aside from this medicine. Okay, okay, then then if I you just know the word. It's the approach. Right. It's the approach. Yeah. That's, a more holistic approach to. I might I might have to check that out because yeah. it, 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 if somebody it, told it, me holistic, yeah, if somebody told me holistic approach, I would think that they were talking about, um, you know, <clears throat> using a different approach than standard medicine. Okay. Yeah. So I don't, but I I could again like I may not just I may not be that familiar with the word. Okay. Um, let's go into. One one oh two to one twenty three. Hmm. 
So that's that. This is this tricky section where she talks about working with people, and we really just don't know what she's mm -hmm. quite kind of say trying to trying to say there. But before that, I think it's pretty clear. And um, so, what does she say before that? Who are we on? I think we are on Catherine. You're saying that a lot of um, psychotherapists actually go to therapy themselves. Um, if they don't, if they never go to therapy, it means that they don't really fully understand who they are as a person, um, even while they're working with other people. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, exactly. What did she say? What did she sign that meant that they have not fully, uh, they haven't fully um, delved into who they are? Right? I was gonna ask you that sign right before full. It looked like something like. I don't like wait, but it was, I don't know what it was. It's analyze yourself. Oh, is it? She uh -huh. just does it fast. Yeah, she just does it fast. Yes. Yeah. I want to start getting you guys not only thinking about the receptive element to this this practice, but also how the re, how gaining what they do can impact how you guys sign. I don't know if you read my blurb on the last tools thing about really making the most of your receptive practice, but when you see them signing certain things, it's really important to start, go, oh, okay, they signed that for analyzing yourself. Okay, that might be a good way to, you know, interpret that concept if I have to do that in the future. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, she so that's... funny, though. She does it, like, right down, you know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like she, her fingers are parted. Let me look at it. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't look weird to me at all. Let me see. Yeah. What, what did I miss? What's funny? <laughs> that makes us feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it did look strange, but I did understand what she was doing. Yeah, her fingers are a little overlapped. Right. But I mean, it's just, you know. Yeah, I see the wiggle now, though, kind of yeah. very. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little bit different than normal, though. Like, I can see that. Okay, the next chunk is, um, and, and again, with the end of that, she just says, um, maybe working with people. Um, and the only thing I can deduced from that is she's saying and they may be working with people that's all that's all she's saying and I can only assume she means these are counselors that are working with people so it's really they need to be also going to counseling themselves that's what I think she means by that but it's not clear <clears throat> not clear <clears throat> and we have to kind of be kind to ourselves and realize that when people speak they don't always make sense, <laughs> and we're analyzing everything they do. And you know, how often do we misspeak and say things in you know fragments and things like that? We do it all the time when we speak in our native tongue, um, and it's fine because nobody's sitting there analyzing every single thing that we say. So that could very well be what she's doing there. Okay, one twenty-five to one forty-five. To, to what point? 45. Okay. Whoops. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the camera. Okay. So, um, Lori. Yes. What do we have for that section? <clears throat> I think what she's saying is, do you want me to voice it? Like, or just, can you can just sum summarize what she's saying. I think that she says um, people tend to go, like if they have a financial planner or a, a decorator for their home, 
they tend to have maybe a what what element um what aspect of of uh how do I say they this? Go, that they go more often and learn how to budget their money and Good. So she's her, her she's making an analysis an, an an analogy about the frequency one would go. Okay, that's what she's talking about. And so what is now now let's go back to the analysis analogy and be sure that when you when you um, explain it that you make it sound like it's an analogy. She's not really trying to explain about financial planning. She's just trying to give people a reference point that they can understand. Does that make sense? Yes. So let's go back. Go ahead and bring your go back to, to 125. And if you feel like it's going to be easier for you, you can go ahead and voice from 125 to 145. <clears throat> you said it's kind of like um, budgeting and um, doing tax your taxes every month. It's kind of like how often you would go to different places. Maybe uh, you have a home decorator coming more often to the house. It's go ahead and stop for just a second. You go, you're, the home decorator is in the next section. Yeah, I just saw it. <laughs> I guess I'm um, way ahead. Yes, but, but so before the home decorator, what is she saying about, analogy. suppose, huh? Like the analogy she's trying to say is like um, people who go to see a counselor or whatever, they're go they they more or less I guess they need help in these these different other areas, they will have they will use that more often than they would or just as much as if they needed to go to a a go analyst or something. Psychotherapist. Right. So she's saying so the analogy that she makes with the um with the financial planner or the tax person is she says she, what does she say would maybe cause somebody to need to go to a tax person frequently? Uh, if they're having a hard time budgeting their money. Good. So they might have a complicated budgeting. They might be wanting to budget or have a complicated financial situation. Uh, what else does she say? Um, Such as the B. Business. They might have a business. Right. So they might need the services of a professional uh, financial planner frequently. Or what what might they do? What might cause somebody to to use a, to a financial planner less often? Um, if they're able to budget their money themselves. Let's watch it again and tell me why why when someone might use it uh, less often. One twenty five. Uh huh. Okay. <clears throat> You might tend to go more often if you your money is not um, oh, she does like it's not like I don't know how to say that. Well, let's go with less often. When do you? Why do you see a a, a financial if, planner rarely? If you're able to budget your own yourself, I want you to look look for look for the rarely. Look for the rarely. <coughs> At the very end of that section, it's the last five seconds. When you do your taxes, it's simple and all. That. Right. If you, all you have to do is do your taxes. You go once a year. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Exactly. So for so that's the analogy she's making. Is some people go for somebody like a financial planner. Sometimes you go frequently if you've got a business, if you've got complicated financials. Or you just go once a year to do your taxes. Okay. Yep. Good. So her complicated is this? Yes. Or? Yes. 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 Complicated. Complicated. Why does she okay, sign? So. How do you sign complicated? One finger. Right. So why does she sign it with force? She's talking about a lot of that, things. That that in English intrusion. No. No. Why does she sign it with force? A lot of. Oh, so the emphasizing it. 
to emphasize it, yes, very complicated. We do that on our okay. Yes. So complicated, and then when it goes to fours, it's extremely complicated. Extremely complicated. Uh, what other signs do we do the same thing to? We go from a one to a four, or a two to a four. Strict. Strict is one, yep. Strict, strict, is a, strict should be a bent V, but very strict we often do with fours. We even sometimes will play with the sign even more and double hand it. Really, really, whoa, that teacher is strict. It, it. Yes. Any others? Question. Question. Um, question? Yeah, question. This, this question sign really shouldn't be, at, shouldn't be used very mu much. So if you use this sign a lot in your signing, you may want to try to use it less because it doesn't really fit much into ASL. Now, when people do... Um, when people do use it like this, um, it's, it's used to mean, I don't know. Like if somebody says, when, when is that deaf event? When is that workshop? You might go, <clears throat> you know, your guess is as good as mine. I, I don't know. Question. It's different than wiggle finger, different than wiggle finger. Question. I don't know. But if you are clueless, you have no idea I'm just completely clueless, and you do it with fours. I really don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So that's a, a thing that they do in ASL from one to fours or from two to fours. It's for emphasis. And the head, too. Uh huh. Good. Puzzled is another very good one. Puzzled. One finger. Puzzled. Extremely. Oh my goodness. I have no idea. Very, very puzzled. Yes. Excellent. Next segment, we are at 145, 145 to 152. Very, very short clip. Next up is Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You guys you all know that the, the section that you don't know is the one that you're going to get called on. It's just <laughs> it's Murphy's Law, so expect it. <laughs> Go ahead, Valerie. You know, like the, your interior decorator uh, may come to your house frequently for different reasons. Good. Um, yeah, she hasn't really fully formed that thought. I guess she was, you know, she was going to make that her her third example, you know, it was doctor and it was financial planner and then it was going to be interior decorator, but she kind of just says, you know, if you're decorating, then your, your decorator is going to be coming over a lot, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. She doesn't ever really, she doesn't really finish the thought. I have a question. Yeah. Do you sign interior decorator and interior designer the same way? Um... I don't. I have never interpreted anything regarding interpreting interior designing or interior decorating. I don't know any deaf people that have hired interior decorators, but <laughs> nor hearing people for the record. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I I would probably if I needed to distinguish the difference if it was important. I would I would distinguish them by probably doing designer or designer, um, like art design. So inside house, designer, professional designer maybe. And then decorator, I would sign decorator. decorator. But don't they do the same thing? Doesn't I, an interior designer decorate then? I don't know enough about the, the, the two to make a difference. But if it needed to be, if it needed to be specified, then I would, I would specify that. So way. that section wouldn't make a difference if you voiced interior decorator or designer. I don't, I don't think so, but there might be interior decorators slash designers that might differ, but I don't know. It seems like the same to me. It doesn't, it, for this, it really doesn't matter because it's not, she's not talking at all about interior designers or decorators, but right. either, either one would make, the point. Right, I was just asking because when I voiced it, I said interior designer and then mm -hmm. everyone yeah. else is saying decorator, so I don't know if I had a misunderstanding or if it make a difference. Or I think the reason why we're signing design, uh, we're voicing decorator is because she's signing right. Decorator. right. Yeah, that's all. That's it. Any other questions about that section? 
153 to 201, and it's Beverly. Okay. Um, She's saying that it's the same with therapy. There's different needs. Um, maybe some go once in a while, and some people go frequently. Good. Why does she sign title? What's that? Why does she sign the sign for title? Issues. Issues. Very good. They're fairing issues. Yes. Good. Uh, What's wrong? Sorry, my thing just started playing and then it looked like went to full screen by itself. Sorry. It's okay. Um, two. Oh, sorry. Two hundred two to two fifteen. Catherine? Um, it's the same as someone who goes to the doctor just because people that go frequently or often, no, regularly, doesn't mean that they have problems um, like if they're crazy or they're emotional. Um, and the people that only go once in a while for checkups, it doesn't mean that they're, I don't know, like, how often you go has nothing to do with how healthy you are. Yeah, that's much better. Much better than where you were going the first time, yes. Less is more. So, yes, the frequency of attendance has nothing to do with the severity of your issues or something like that. Yeah. Good. Any questions about any signs that you saw during that section? Anybody? Oh, hold on. Okay, that was her checkup. Okay, so when she signs, when she does like this, this, and this, ah. once in a while. Yes, I love. That's a great sign. I thank you for bringing that up. This uh, is talking about the future, and it's jumping in the future. So it's here and there, and here and there, and it's a great sign to use for that concept of. They, they might go, or they might just go here, there, here, there. Periodically, too? Periodically, okay. yes. Yep, absolutely. And every once in a while might be a, a fine choice of words for that concept as well, depending on the context. Mm hmm Good. Now we're at 2.15 to 2.38. And this is Lori. What? Where did you say to stop at? Two thirty-eight. Okay, stop to two forty. Um, people come to ACS because um, they just want to discuss their ideas and goals and maybe um, help them solve or resolve some goals and ideas. Uh huh. Resolve some what? Goal, uh, goals or ideas. What do you resolve? We don't really resolve goals. Maybe, or right. um, solve? She did. S right. What, what do we re We don't resolve goals. We accomplish goals, but what do we resolve in our lives? Uh, problems. Yes, exactly. Problems. Absolutely. So that's what she's saying. Help them get some ideas of how they can resolve things in their lives better. Yes. And she said that um, most people that come to ASC um, are fine. They're fine. They're they just fine, need some right. with their family and their work and all that. Everything's fine. They just need some help. Exactly. Yep. Beautiful. 
I think we're on our last chunk, and that is from the last 10 seconds, 238 to 248. Okay. Okay, and I think we are on Valerie. Okay. Um. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. Wait a minute. It's okay. Go back. <sighs> Two twenty-eight to two to two thirty-eight, right? Today. Um, the last ten, yeah, two thirty-eight, right? So, does that mean that these people are weak and uh, emotional? Um, no, they these people have very healthy. Um, lives. Good. She says pressure is in there, but I didn't know how to voice that. Okay. So she doesn't say precious, but she signs this sign. Yeah. That and means lots of different things, not just precious. So somebody else give me some other. Loving lives? Uh, say that again? Caring lives or loving caring? Um. Um, we're using that word in the word in the incorrect part of speech. Okay. I need to think about this for just a second so I don't tell you this incorrectly. Um, okay, this this sign is a verb, so it's to something. Um. Now, if you if you voice it as precious, which precious is an adjective, that's okay sometimes, as long as you switch things around in the sentence. But just be aware that this sign is actually supposed to be a verb. I blank you, okay? I cherish you, or I value you, or I can do a topic comment and say you, the five of you topic, I treasure or I cherish or I value. So that's the proper way to use that sign, although it is incorrectly used very, very, very frequently. <coughs> okay? But just be aware that it's supposed to be a verb. Just like love. I love you, I cherish you. Okay? So she is saying at the end of that that these individuals value their lives or, you know, I think value is probably a good choice word. Cherish is a little bit kind of fluffy in there for that this concept, I think, or, um, but yeah, value their lives. But this sign, almost everybody has a word that they just want to say. They're, like, compelled to say when they see this sign. But be aware that there's maybe not this many, but there's, you know, a good, a good several, a good handful of different words that really fit that sign. So play with how you can, how you can maybe be more agile when that word comes up so you can... Flip through your Rolodex of words. Oh, that's a good one. I'll use that. <laughs> okay, any questions? Uh, what? Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know. I don't even know who was talking, but I know <laughs> you. Was it, uh, I think, Valerie, actually. Did you have a question? Okay. Um, how, how, how are you voicing that last part? Um, she says, this is just from memory, um, something like, um, they, these people that come to ASC are fine, they don't have, they just want some help on how to, re how, how to resolve, better resolve issues in their mm -hmm. lives, um, they're healthy and value their lives. Okay. What are you thinking? Um, that just sounds awkward to me. <laughs> okay, what do you got? I'm 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 just trying to think it over. The you know how you know I'm how 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 I would do that. I, I know I would be awkward when I get to that part. You know I would be like, well, that's that's what she's saying, but it just sounds so awkward. They 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 these these are uh, 
people have, let me see, let me go back. These, these are not weak, uh, weak or emotional people, but these are people who have a um, healthy and satisfying life. Healthy, oh, okay, and they value their life. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That works. <laughs> It's honest. Just because we see that sign doesn't mean we have to pick a word that fits that sign. Yeah. As long as we get her overall meaning in there, that's good. So if you're struggling okay. with, oh, precious, no value, no, uh, I don't like any of them, <laughs> just make sure. But that, part just, that part, that's why I dropped it. I just said they live well, healthy. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I sometimes I harp on certain signs, not because I think you have to sign it, but I, because I want to make sure that you're aware of your options, um, the words that can fit that, and also just to make sure you guys know that sign so that you are, are able to make the decisions around it when you see it. Yeah. Um, she what? signs. Cool. Go ahead, Catherine. Why does she sign weak on her face rather yeah. than? Her That's exactly what I was going. Where I was going next. Somebody tell me what she's doing when she does this. This weak on her face thing. What is that? Weak minded. Weak minded. It's a weak handed, weak minded. <laughs> what are we oh. up here? Yeah, but nobody goes that high. Why? Nobody goes that high. Why? Because they're deaf and they don't have to. <laughs> like if I do it, it's wrong then? Well, as interpreters, are, we are hired, we are trained and hired to be clear, linguistic, um, to deliver the information in the clearest way possible. And so I would not suggest that this is the clearest way possible. Okay. So thus, I wouldn't suggest you signing it the way she does. But I mean, there are situations where that might be a totally appropriate way. Yeah, I mean, it's just a weaker, it's just a lazier. Like, I, no? I don't really sign no. I sign no at my... At really? My, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty normal. We just, just go. It's about as high as most people go, right here. I think I could, I just get used to it. And then... That's good. Keep it there. Nothing wrong with that. You're going to be clearer, more crisp, more precise signer. That's good. Anybody else? I was trying to go back um, to, um, I'm trying to find um, the area. I have a question. Uh huh. Could, for this, this sign. Uh huh. Is, um, quality. I my life of uh, worth a lot or the quality of I'm trying to think. Um, this sign doesn't mean quality, no. But it doesn't mean that the combination of her thoughts that the word quality couldn't be in that sentence. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But this sign is a verb that means to uh, adore, to cherish, to value, to treasure, um, to la all of those, you know, a really intense emotional feeling towards mm -hmm. something. Okay. Yes, and it is a verb. Okay. Yes. It does not mean caring. That person caring. That is used incorrect grammatically incorrectly. So, so it doesn't mean precious it, either then. When she uses one hand, it's the same as using the two. Is that what you're saying? Desirable? That's not what I'm saying, but that's true. Desirable. Mm -hmm. Um, no. too desirable? No, if you can't no. put to desire? No. To desi oh no, no. Desire is a verb, but not this verb. Yeah, no. No, not yeah. Too much. Valerie, I wasn't saying anything about one-handed versus two-handed, but you're correct about that. One-handed and two-handed is the same meaning. Oh, okay. Well, right. well, what were you thinking that I was saying? The huh? meaning? Yeah, the yeah. You said, you said, no, were no, you... I, I guess I was posing the question to you, is the one-handed and the two-handed the same? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like anything, yeah, fine or fine or, yeah, anything. It's the same. Yep. Okay. Okay. I shouldn't say anything because there are some signs you can't do that are two-handed. You can't do sign and then sign. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is showing, is showing emphasis if you use two. Um, for this sign, for mm -hmm. the sign, uh, this sign. Oh. <laughs> um. No, no, it's in the face. No? Yeah. No, I mean, no. You can show emphasis one-handed. Right, within the face. Yeah. Yeah, really, two-handed signs that we drop when we drop one hand. Um on signs that are, you know, have, are either or. Um, it's really more for uh, formality than anything else. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if I sign... Uh, oh, Lori, can you still not see me? I see you. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if I'm signing for Obama, um, <laughs> that was an interesting decision to make at... 7.30 the night before Election Day. But anyway, um, if I'm signing for Obama, then all of those signs that can be two-handed but that I typically sign one-handed because I'm a lazy signer, you better believe I'm going to be pulling out all of my two-handed signs that day because I'm going to be on a stage. It's going to be a formal environment. I'm going to be in a suit, and it's the proper way to sign it. And so, yes, when he says, I value America, I'm going to sign it two-handed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now, if I that, to say, um, it, it's like something to, to say, like, I, I care about, like, I care about my daughter. That's my daughter. Um, she's precious to me, and I care about her. Or maybe drop leave it, precious. Leave it, and, leave it just like that. That's a beautiful example. Leave it just like that. I care about my daughter. Sign that for me, please. <laughs> Okay, what you just signed is my daughter cherish. Oh, I, I meant to say I, I cherish. Great. So the topic is my daughter, right? Mm -hmm. My daughter's the topic with the eyebrows up. You're gonna put her in space. Mm-hmm. I cherish. That's the topic. So you could say I cherish my daughter, which believe it or not, although I don't teach it this way, is actually fine ASL. Just for that sentence structure, that's why I don't teach it because it's be very confusing. But for that sentence, I cherish my daughter is fine. Or you can make the topic, my daughter right there, I cherish. Okay? But leaving off the I, you're saying my daughter cherishes and we don't know what it is that she cherishes. Okay. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, or how would I sign? I'm trying to get cared. <clears throat> like I've, I've I've seen you know things being interpreted like, um, I care for you. Uh huh. And 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 maybe they would do something like that, and I'm like, oh, that feels awkward. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I would be, you know, I. You, I, you know. Right. Care. So that's what I would do. Right. You, mm. topic. I eyebrows. The other eyebrows go down. I care for. I cherish. I value. Same. All same meaning. You, okay. the topic. I, that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. That is a sign that is frequently, frequently, frequently misused. Frequently misused. So when they when they say um, when they use it as precious, then that's really not right because it's not a verb in that case. Correct, but it still can be used in the same concept. It's just like if you were to say um, my daughter is precious, then you, you what you're saying is you value she's precious to you, which means that you care for her. So it's the same exact thing. The meaning is the same, even though we're saying it in different words. Okay. You know what I mean? So you'd still say, I cherish her. She's precious to me. I cherish her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you just say you care about someone, I feel like that sign is too strong for it, though. Well, you have to, um, you have to deduce, that's this, that you have to deduce what the person means by it. And I think that 
um, you could easily say, uh, uh, talking about a teacher, let's say, and her students, and she might say, I care for my students. I do. I, I, I care for them so much. And I think I would sign this. My students, they, I cherish them. That's how I would sign that concept. But, but it's certainly possible that somebody could say the words care for, and it'd be much, much of a less intense, you know, feeling. So what would you sign for the less intense way? It depends. Maybe I love them. Maybe like this. You don't feel like that's... I don't know. Mm, this is a, a light love. Have you seen this sign? Like, like That's like kind-hearted, isn't it? I, I can't really tell what you're saying. <laughs> Hi! I didn't see what you did with your hands. Like, like I care. I don't know. I've seen... I, don't I was taught that's kind-hearted. Mm -hmm. I sign soft-hearted like this. I don't. I don't know this sign, but I sign heart soft, <laughs> kind-hearted. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Yeah, I've seen it. Soft-hearted. Soft-hearted. Yeah, one hand. That could be really. I didn't know how to do that, I, and I've seen this sign too. But yeah. I, I, I recently saw that, and I'm like, oh, I like that. I'm keeping that one. <laughs> yeah. So um, I want to also bring up the sample interpretation that was on the tools page. Did anybody get a chance to take a peek at that? Which one? The one about the teacher talking about teaching George Washington before the test, teaching about George Washington before the test. Yeah. Any questions about that? Not yet, but I, I, I'll send you something. I'm, I, I just kind of peeked at it, and um, I didn't really, we, we didn't have, electricity in, in Ohio and we didn't have I didn't have gas and excuses excuses <laughs> the, the biggest hurricane comes by and no I'm and just kidding I, I totally understand <laughs> <laughs> I totally totally understand whenever you get a chance yeah. um, I do though um, I would like to experiment with doing things a little bit differently when we meet here on Mondays and maybe discuss both the, the video um, um, the video of the week like we do and then also discuss the sample interpretation and let me know if there's any it's usually really really short now I can't promise that I'm gonna send in fact I'm not even going to, I, I will keep sending the tools on Fridays so I don't know if there's enough time between you know Saturday and Sunday to even watch those two. Is that too too much pressure to try to get two of those in? I watched them and also the interactive that you sent. There was an oh. interactive also. I was glad to see that. Yeah, I that was an that was that, was that that was a separate email and that was just to you guys. Valerie and Beverly didn't get that only because that's what we worked on in class on Thursday. So I wanted to fill you guys okay. in on what we worked okay. on in class. Say, I didn't get that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, but those are actually just so you two know. Um, on my YouTube channel in playlists, I have a channel, um, a playlist called um, "Interpreting Skill Building Tools" or something like that. And there's about 30 or 35 different videos all pertaining to interpreting. And oh, okay. it's, they're not mine. They're just people that I found that are really great, you know, tools to use. So please feel free to observe. And that, that, that those, um, I'll actually send them directly to you guys. Those interactives are in there, but they're really great. Um, they're really great. There's an interactive that you can interpret practicing interpreting yourself, and then there's a sample interpretation of it. Um, mm -hmm. Not saying that you should necessarily interpret exactly how these, this interpreter does it, because there are some things I would change. But overall, it's a really good thing to just kind of play with. Okay. But so, the were you asking about the sample interpretation? Because there was something assigned in there that we, you think we have question about, or not necessarily. Just to, just to see if you had any questions. If we wonder why it signed something a certain way, or maybe you had a better way or a different way to sign something, or. Um, anything, just anything. Okay, I'll ask this next week too. So let me know if there's anything that comes up. Oh, that's that's what's gonna, I'm gonna do. Next week's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be sending a um, a video of a with me signing a bunch of different errors, and so we're gonna look at that and talk about how we can improve 
you know, what, what, what grammatical errors I'm making in the video. So it'll be something that we can kind of fun to talk about. Okay? You know, what, what, what would be interesting to me is um, sometimes we have to interpret literature. <clears throat> and some of the literature, and I can probably Xerox something and um, send you something in, in the email. Some of it is very um, challenging because it's really, you have to listen to that whole paragraph to figure out what are they talking about to paint this picture. And sometimes, um, like if you're the regular interpreter for that, for that, those students, you probably have prior knowledge, but coming in cold, you would not. So it would be interesting. <laughs> You muted yourself. You are you back? What? Who muted themselves? Who? Va Valerie, can I, I? Can you hear me? I, Val, I, Catherine, I think you hit the mute button on on Valerie. Valerie. Can you hear me now? I can. I can hear you now. Yes. Yes. Good. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. I hit the top. Oh yeah, on my screen it came up. Catherine muted Valerie. I'm sure you didn't do it on. Wait, Wait, if I. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I. Okay. I was trying to watch your sample interpretation. Oh. So if I do it, it mutes are completely on everybody's computer. Oh yeah, I, I mean, not just on mine. No, yeah, that's <laughs> it's so <bold> on you. <laughs> I didn't mean Sorry, to. Valerie. I didn't mean to do that. No, I, I completely thought it was just on my computer because I was while you guys were talking, I was gonna look at the sample interpretation <laughs> and then meet at the top, and I don't know. But I do know what you're talking about, Valerie. Um, it, it comes up a lot. Now, the, my first question is: Is your student? Um, you know what, let me go ahead and end the broadcast because I don't okay. think anybody's going to care about any of this stuff. Um, so, bye!